Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's August 25th, 2022. Here are your latest church militant headlines. San Diego's bishop was instrumental in securing a partnership between Catholic charities and a gay adoption agency. This from investigative journalist George Neumeyer, who in a recent interview with Church Militant revealed little known details about Bishop Robert McElroy back when he served in San Francisco. Is that he was the moral theologian who told Archbishop George Niederauer, who's a successor to Leveda, he told Niederauer that it would be okay for Catholic charities to enter into a partnership with a gay adoption agency in Oakland. Pope Francis wants to combat ideology injected into Catholic ministries. Yesterday in Rome, the pontiff warned against certain agendas infecting the church's lay and ordained ministries, announcing he wishes to meet with the bishops about the necessity of community. Quote, ministries must be rooted in it ever more deeply, lest dynamism become confusion, liveliness be reduced to extemporaneous improvisation, and flexibility be transformed into arbitrary and ideological adaptations. A Michigan judge's order is being criticized for holding pro-life laws hostage. On Monday, Alliance Defending Freedom slammed a temporary injunction by a lower court, allowing abortion on demand to continue in Michigan in violation of existing state law. Quote, we're obviously concerned by it. Michigan law should and does protect innocent human life. The injunction really does allow abortion on demand, and we're talking up to the moment of birth. And leftists are reeling after multiple school boards in Florida have flipped from liberal to conservative. More than a dozen county school boards went from woke to conservative majorities in Tuesday's elections, including Miami-Dade, the largest county in the country with a conservative school board majority. Ryan Gordusky, head of conservative 1776 Project PAC, which endorsed many of the board members, said, it shows the desire of parents and residents across the country for some normalcy in our education system. And that means pushing against transgender ideology, critical race theory, critical gender ideology, and equity, which destroys merit in education. And staying in Florida, the Catholic governor is invoking God to fight the left. After winning his uncontested primary on Tuesday, Ron DeSantis slammed his Democrat opponent, Charlie Crist, invoking God to urge his supporters to continue doing battle for the truth. But it's not going to be easy. Uh, but you know what? This state is worth fighting for. Our country is worth fighting for. So put on the full armor of God and take a stand against the left schemes. Stand firm for truth. A Georgia congresswoman had her house swarmed by law enforcement after a fake report. Marjorie Taylor Greene, a former Catholic, had emergency services rush to her house in Rome, Georgia on Wednesday after a leftist critic made a false call about an alleged shooting that never happened. When police asked why the activist made the call, the activist expressed anger about Greene's stance on transgender youth's rights and admitted trying to, quote, swat her. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch the Vortex today. Michael answers your questions on how to fight for the future. God bless you.